Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're here today with Christine Curran, Madam President of the Lions Club of Hopkinton. Woohoo! And you so happy to have you. Thank you. Thank a lot you going much. on with the Lions Club. We, have a lot. we do. Yeah. Things have been picking up. Well, it's great so to meet you. The Lions Club was actually very, very active for many years in Hockington, and then it kind of went dormant. So how did the whole rejuvenation happen? So, yeah, we, we, um, we were created in 1975, so we've had our recently our 40th uh, year anniversary. Um, and I think around 2012 or 2013, it um, disbanded for some reason. Um, and then the Ashland Lions Club um, wanted to get us back in. Mm -hmm. um, so they put a, an article in the, in the Hopkinton Independent and they, I, I don't know how they got other information out, but they wanted to get Hopkinton residents involved again. Um, I saw the article in mm -hmm. the paper asking for volunteers and um, met with the Ashland Lions and they said that they had a number of people that were in Hopkinton that wanted to, were interested in joining. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's how it got started again, is the Ashland so Lions. So back up a little yeah, bit and yeah. talk about both the organization, mm -hmm. and then I want to hear a little bit more about you, yeah. Yeah. But, but what the Lions Club does, their advocacy, their mission. Um, so it's an international organization. Um, it started in Illinois. Um, and it's just grown, and and now it, it's there's a there's a club in every every town. Mm -hmm. um, I never heard of it until I saw that article in the paper. Oh wow! Um, and when I told my husband about it that I was thinking of joining, he said, "Oh, the the one the, the organization with all the signs around the town, the, mm -hmm. the circles that yeah. tells you where they're meeting." And I said, "Oh yeah, I, I didn't I didn't really dawn on me because the brand is strong, but yes. I didn't know what its mission is, what its purpose and focus." Why are they called so lions. I, know, I mean, I, you have well, some fun officer so, names yeah, too. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, fill us in. So the, mission, <laughs> the mission is? The mission is to fight blindness. Um, that wow. has been the number one mission mm -hmm. um, since, it, since it started. Um, and there's a there's the Mass Lions um, eye research, and, and you'll see around town the um, the, the, the drop-off boxes for yes. uh, used eyeglasses. I know there's right. one at Middlesex Bank. Where are the other the, locations? The post office, senior center, um, Dr. Perryman's office, uh, the, the um, Hopkinton Eye. Um, they're all over, and, and you know, I, I get questions about where are they, and there they are. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually come up on the Real Housewives page yes, several they times. Have. And it's you know, like, where, are, where can you drop off used glasses? Go to the Lions Club. Yes. Mm -hmm. stuff like, yes. Um, and it, it, that's just fantastic because people just have them, and, you know, they, why waste them by throwing them away? Mm -hmm. um, and they're, they're donated to um, uh, other countries of, for people ah. that can't afford eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. um, so, so there are people that the doctors, um, eye doctors that do clean them and mm -hmm. provide mm -hmm. them to people that don't have them. So how big is the group here in Hopkinton? Um, so we have about nine members. Okay. Um, looking, always looking for more members. It would be mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. Looking for new people that are, are young, old, any age, just looking for fresh ideas. Mm -hmm. um, we, we are looking to expand, so it would be fantastic if mm -hmm. we could get that word out. What are you guys looking, in addition to expanding your membership, because nine members, that's, you know, it'd be great to get Pretty some tight. more. Very sure. grassroots. Yes. That's very yes. grassroots. But any particular uh, ambitions on the horizon, or what do you think about in terms of um, what you'd like to be doing? as a group here? Um, so uh, I, I never really got into what we do yes. um, as far as we were a volunteer, again, volunteer organization that does um, service, uh, community service projects. So we want to be available to help anybody within the community, ju not just Hopkinton, but surrounding towns. Mm -hmm. You do a lot at Project Just Because. Yes, and that is our one of our number one um, organizations in town that we like to support. So on, a, on an international level, it's about you know, preventing blindness and vision, care, et cetera. But locally, you guys just are really involved in um, volunteerism mm -hmm. yes. and getting involved in the community. Yes. And activities that raise funds for these um, Absolutely. for these groups. Absolutely. And extremely hands-on. I know you guys have been in there stuffing backpacks at Project yep. Just Because. I know when um, we run the, the um, scouting for food, you guys have come in before to kind of help clean up and then you've come in at the end after the scouts are done that's so exactly and it's yeah. a lot that's it and that's heavy labor too it's more mm -hmm. than just organizing an event oh, yeah. it's down and dirty labor yes yes and 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 one of our members his wife works at project just because yeah so we have, yes, and, and she ironically 
won your last raffle. Yes. Well, so you've yeah, done some the, fundraisers. Yeah, some yes. fun stuff. We can talk about that. Yeah. yeah. And some of the fundraisers, um, just recently, just this past weekend, we did a community yard sale, our first one, yeah. where um, houses around town were holding their own uh, yard sales, and we just promoted, promoted it. it. Mm -hmm. um, and we got a great turnout of people signing up for it. And I good. love the idea I because do too. then what you're doing is not only are you helping people do their yard sales, but I think it brings in people from outside the community because there's a number of yard sales right. going on yes. at the same time. Right. And I yes. love that idea. Yes. I loved it yes. too. And so. it was fun. It was, I, I point, um, posted the signs all throughout the town and it was fun just to get out there and meet the people that and, we're and doing now? Yeah, yeah. And to see the different neighborhoods because you know you, you only travel the same roads over and over again. Yeah. It was good. I was able to see our town. I had yeah. hoped to be one of them, but I didn't get my act together to get my sail together. But <laughs> next year, you do it next well, year, I'm in. There's no, I know we all went to the uh, dinner you had too. Yes. That was kind of celebrating the Lions overall. The 40th anniversary? Yeah. yeah so we had that at um, the Woodville um, Gun and Rod Club. Club. Um, and it was fantastic. We that had other fun. we had other Lions clubs from around right. around mm -hmm. us come and to support us. And yeah, we had a band, uh, a singer come in. I, I can't recall his Tim name. Levin. Tim Levin. Yeah. Well, That's where I learned that, that um, you had the funny names for like the officers. The, yes, yeah. the Tail Twister. And is that legit, is that a real officer it title? Is, it is Tail Twister. Yeah, no, that what? person is meant to be silly and have fun and uh -huh. maybe steal something. That's Dawn, isn't it? it? You know, that's what I picked up on. I think it on. is this year. Yeah. I think it is. When I attended, and we all attended the event at the Rod and Gun Club, I have to say the warmth, the hospitality, and the fun. Great group of well, people. It's a great group of people. Yes. Yeah, that's what I, you know, really p came away yeah, with. It's, yeah. not, it's not a serious group. It's, it's, we do like to have fun and support the community at the yeah. same time. So it's, it's something that, you know, we're, we're all <coughs> growing and becoming friends. And I had a process. perception that the Lions Club was for, you know, like senior citizens. Yes. There's something about that, but the energy and the youth that were involved, you know, it, it, it changes the It spans a number of, you know, age groups, you know, that are members, even though you're yes. only nine <laughs> members, yes. you have a broad <laughs> spectrum. Yes. Yes. Look at well, a volunteer I, opportunity, Lions Club would be a good place to yes, put absolutely. your energies. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I actually think in Ashland, um, just, I think the Lions Club, like the Kiwanis, had the K Club. I actually think in Ashland, they actually, in the 80s, had like a teen membership kind of part of it too. Um, I think my sister, because my sister was in K Club and some sort of Lions thing oh. um, growing up, so that there, it isn't like re age restricted. So if you have a 17 or 18 year old that wants to get in, help, Absolutely. you know, be the ones, these are kind of the clubs they can get involved in. Right. And and at one time they had the Leo's Club at the high school. Yeah, yeah. that's um, it, what it was called. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mini Leo's. Lions. Yes. Yes. Lions. Yes. So, Lions. so sometime down the line, we'd like to start yeah. that up again. Awesome. So you, you've had a couple, now you, know, you recently, one of your fundraisers was the yeah. lobster, the lobster bushel raffle. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, tell us about that. That just sounds fun. Um, so we saw that going on in a different town. I think it was Milford. Um, so we took it and, and said, um, let's Why try to get the wheel. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you've given them credit. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, um, and um, it, it's, uh, I think it was $5 for a ticket. Um, or ten dollars. It was three. cheap. It was, it was so, cheap. so cheap. And then um, the raffle went off on September twelfth. Yeah. And um, you win a, a bushel of lobsters and clams, um, clams or something yeah. like wow. that. And you pick them up at any time that you want them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's perfect. perfect. It's yeah. cute. Yeah. And, and now you have ideas. one more coming up in the near future. And one I that we are. It's fun, and there hasn't been a lot of turnout. Come on, people. We are so excited for this one. We did this many years ago with the original club um, mm -hmm. at Colello's. Um, and it was so much fun, so I've heard. And so now we've we decided to do it with Price Chopper. Um, on October 1st, two, two winners will be selected to run around Price Chopper for four minutes. Mm -hmm. Grocery Dash. Grocery Dash. Four minutes. I bought my uh -huh. ticket. Now, a couple of people go, well, I don't need, well, fine, then donate what you collect right. to charity. I'm yes. thinking Bay Path, I'll do the cat and dog food aisle. And Serenity House, and yep. she's mm -hmm. assuming she's won it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, <laughs> she's I'm in it to win it. <laughs> and, and oh, by the way, if I do win, I may even put a little costume on and make fun, like kind of like back in the day. It used to be on TV. Yes, they oh, had it on TV, and you yeah. know. And I'm like, it's kind of like, let's make a deal, right? So you know, so you're supposed I'll to wear a costume? No, 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 I'm saying I oh, will. Oh, Connie will wear a costume. Have okay. fun, come on, people, buy a ticket buy a for ticket. a good cause. If you don't want to run it, 
and I don't win, I'll run it for you, or one of these yeah. guys will run it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would love to run it, and I don't need all I'd the stuff that comes film with it. it. Oh, yeah. I'd love to yeah. Yes. Him to come out and film it. It'd be a blast in the hoot. That'll be fun. So, so um, $20 uh, for a ticket, mm -hmm. uh, $40 for three tickets. Um, any lion um, can sell you a ticket. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be at Poly Arts um, yes. tomorrow awesome. for selling mm -hmm. tickets. Um, just to get the word out, uh, and, and Price Chopper, you know, has been a, a wonderful partner with us in doing yeah. this, mm -hmm. and um, we're going to have um, Project Just Because pick a ticket. Uh, okay. The, one of the, the winners. winners. Yep. yep. So, and Very they're, they're going to be then available. October one is the race. Yes, and the drawing <laughs> is the dash. Be September twenty first is okay. the drawing. Yeah. So we got some time to get some more tickets sold. Oh, so awesome. Well, yeah. well let's talk For about these. you a little bit. Okay. Um, in addition to your role at the Lions Club, yeah. help us about your your history here in town and. Yeah, so um, yeah. my husband and I, we, we moved out here five years ago uh, okay. from Southie, um, South Aww. Boston. Um, <laughs> I, I have two kids. One is a five-year-old, and uh, my daughter is, is three. And so we moved out here because my husband works for EMC, mm -hmm. now Dell Technologies. Yep. Um, so we just wanted to be closer to where he works. Um, and, and just Where'd you move from? Southie. So Southie. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I didn't grow up there, but we lived there <laughs> for several <laughs> years. Sounding like um, a native. Southie. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm originally from New Jersey. Uh -huh. And... Um, no, we just, because the community was just so amazing, the schools are amazing, it's so beautiful here, really and, and just cool. because we wanted to be closer to where he works, mm -hmm. um, yeah, came here five years ago. Five years ago. Awesome. Welcome, wanted, welcome, thank still. You. And I wanted to get involved with the, the town, meet more people. You know, my, my children were young, and it was hard, and I work full-time as well, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to be able to meet more people, and mm -hmm. that was the only way I could see sure. how ah. was to get out there. I understand um, that. Volunteer, so. so what so, do you do, what's your day job? Um, I work for National Grid. Oh, oh okay. so um, I'm an emergency planner there. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Okay. You've been so busy the last couple of years. When, when with there's stuff. a storm, yeah, you're, yep, you're on that team. I'm no? outside. Oh, we have, wow! <laughs> so I'm busy. Um, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, hopefully someday looking to talk to um, the fire chief about starting an emergency um, uh, volunteer group here. Um, wow! So interesting. Very cool. Just going to give him yeah. some time. Yeah. To so, I know his name. so tell me <laughs> yeah. about your background, though, that got you into this job. I mean, that's kind of kind of cool. I mean, into emergency planning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of women in your in the field. Would you say starting or? to pick up? Mm -hmm. It's it's starting to. Um, you know, not only am I working in an industry that is heavily male mm -hmm. dominated in the utility industry, but yes. emergency planning is also something that you know is right. starting to pick up in in, mm -hmm. the, in the female aspect. It's fascinating industry. Oh, uh, the, the the emergency planning industry. Did you Have you prepared for that in college? No, I didn't even know it existed. Oh, to be honest. So my son is semi majoring in something like that at That's college. That's fantastic. Oh. And um, there's Lisa Jackson too in town that does yeah, she the, does. the emergency medical responder team. Really? So she actually does trainings all over, actually all over the country. country. But. Um, this is like if there was a national disaster, who to pull together, who can run and do that. So wow. that'd be a great. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to get connected with and her. stuff like that. And that yeah. is her thing. Yeah, well, that's perfect. Even you know the, the the tough thing that we all forget, and and I guess because I lived so many years in Northern California in my early twenties, because of the threat of earthquakes, mm -hmm. we were taught as a family, you had to have your own preparedness, how to communicate if you're separated, where mm -hmm. the kids would go. Um, you know, if they're in school, what the school is going to do. If they're not in school, you know, how, yeah. to, how to connect and get together. And we forget all these details. And then you have the pieces of utilities, the medicine, mm -hmm. and, and all that. But, you know, it really starts with the individual family mm -hmm. needs well, to have a plan. Similarly, I'm from Tornado Alley, yeah. <laughs> Southern Ohio, wow. that we used to get them every summer. But t now, in terms of your role, preparing the community, what are some of the key things that your group yeah. or you focus on? As far as as, as emergency plan. preparedness. Well, so we really, in, in my group, we prepare our company, our employees, ah, okay. to be prepared um, should there be a storm or an, an emergency. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. um, there's also a, a side aspect of it called business continuity. So okay. we want to keep the company running so we can support the community. Yeah. So are yes. you doing anything with like the LNG tanks in town or anything like that? In, in our town? Yeah. No, because no. I think that's more ever. I think that's ever source. Yeah. It is. yeah. Um, but no. Uh, uh, also, I wanted to remind you, September is National Preparedness Month. So uh -huh. there's actual okay. month dedicated to this. So you might see things on Facebook, especially mm -hmm. the Real Housewives. 
um, where I'll, I'll share some things oh, from, please do. from Mima. Yeah, please. Like you were saying, have a, have a plan at home, a family um, communications plan. Um, have a kit at home. Yeah. And I know I know we're going off a little bit. No, no this, is, this is fun. Um, yeah. But no, 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 this is also my, my bread and butter um, yeah. as far as emergency planning. But yeah, I've shared things on, on the Real Housewives mm -hmm. Facebook page mm -hmm. about uh, National Preparedness Month. It, awesome. It's really important. I mean, I always giggle when the threat of a big storm, everybody goes and you go to the grocery store and there's no bread and peanut right. butter. And you're like, okay. But, <laughs> but literally, that's just the start of it. And you should have some emergency supplies always on hand Absolutely. for anything that might yes. happen unexpectedly. We are in an earthquake zone. <laughs> it's a hundred year threat, but we, you know, I always giggle you know, every now and then, <laughs> what was it a year ago? Well, there was never a, know. a tiny little yes. tremor that people were like, Did you feel that? I'm like, Oh, that well, was we an earthquake. But more storms. than that, but we're more in a blizzard zone. So yes, we're in a, so a, a, a zone. tornado. We just yeah, yeah, had yeah, a tornado. Yeah, tornado. tornado. Yeah. Heavy yeah. winds. We're not and immune to no. national no, disasters no, no, no. and stuff exactly. like that. And, and no. you know, we were 14 years in Minnesota. So snow, winter, you know, crippling blizzards. You know, we could do it all here in the New England. Yeah. We should prepare. I got to tell you, I've got I've got kits stored all throughout my house. Yeah. Do, do I have stocks of food? No, but you know, I've got the can opener. I've you got go down water. In the basement. There's another yeah, tunnel under. There. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got I've got stuff. But, but we're gonna you know. check in with the you know our well, grandparents who were always about you know storing and you know my my, uh, my grandfather used to talk about when the hard times come. Yeah. You know, you open up his cupboard and he'd have you know canned goods and everything yeah, else. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, it's like the middle school has a um, fallout shelter, and they actually used it last year when there was mm -hmm. an emergency wow. threat at the school. That's where they moved the kids I didn't know that. That and stuff, cool. and they were wow. put in, they were put in the shelter or they were put out in fields yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, they had to be I a certain that. distance because they were moving them from the high school over there. No, no. Wow. So, um, yeah. so fascinating. Yeah. So, yeah. so you have two young children, but one just started kindergarten, kindergarten at garden. center school. Oh, yeah, oh, that that's going. a rite of passage. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's great. He's, he's loving he's it. He's loving it. How's um, mom doing? Fine. Yeah. Well, because he was going to daycare yep. yeah. before that, it wasn't. It was an easy transition. It was just the bus was the new thing That's for him the to big do, thing. Um, yeah. and just to see his little head <laughs> over the window, it was yeah. really cute. Um, he's having a great time. Oh, I bet. Center school is so awesome. I think. Know. Yeah, the bus was one of the thrills for my kids. Uh, when we thrills moved and here. the horrors. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, well know. you know, but when we moved here, we lived in Northern California. Um, well, I grew up on the East Coast, went out for school, and mm -hmm. stayed. And so when we moved here, my oldest was nine, seven, and then my daughter was four. And so the boys were on the bus. It was the first time they'd ever been on a school bus. And they thought that was cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's yeah. like really cool. But that's where all the socializing and a lot of the, exactly. you know, making friends and navigating all that really happened exactly. on the bus. No, so yeah. I'm glad he's yeah. enjoying yeah, it. He is. It's and so and cute. my daughter is three and she sees this and oh, she wants she'll to be a so part of it. She wants so to go. go. I know. Yes. Yes. That was my daughter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Two more years. <laughs> Don't rush it, please. <laughs> <laughs> and with emergency planning and preparedness, there are some things going on in the community oh, that yeah. actually fall yes. with that. And actually, next Friday um, at St. John's, the, um, I think it's going to be one to six or one to seven. There'll be a Red Cross blood drive, okay. things like oh, that for okay. preparing and stuff Very like that. Yes. And and you know things that we don't think about every day. That these this is a good month to be out there thinking on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should talk a little bit more about what's going on in town this upcoming days and weekend. Well, I guess everyone knows this Poly Arts and Apple Crisp and all that. Not everybody, and even though the signs <laughs> everywhere. So Pol <laughs> Poly Arts is a, um, if you're new to town, Poly Arts, unless you're a nonprofit, is it goes by the true meaning of Poly Arts. It is some sort of handcrafted art form. Mm -hmm. It could be a baked good. It could be like Trish with Ida's good, you know. Um, jewelry, it could be yummy brownies, but that, that it's something that is created. So yeah, lots yeah. of incredible crafts and artists, um, artisan oh, level really crafts, cars, beautiful dog stuff. collars, all these things that people make. Um, Nancy Wine Bailey glasses that painted does the, the beautiful. Uh, Nancy yeah. Bailey that does the start of the marathon. I'm trying to think of ones that are specific Hawkington people that mm. really feature the things. The Lions Club will be there selling. Um, during that same time of Poly Arts window, the um, the quilting show will be going on. Oh, that's going to be fun. And that will um, be at HCA. Mm -hmm. And that's actually going both days. But when you bridge into Sunday, there's also the Lumberjack show. So Which the, is a hoot from yeah, the first snowed time. Last year. Last year. Have been so to that? No, no, you, but I've seen the signs all. No, no, it's way more fun than I ever thought it was going to be. We, you and know, and, and that really was is. our first 
that was such a cold day. We had snow flurries that day. It was this year crisp it's going to be gorgeous. Wow. And it's it's a hoot. It is so amazing, right. and, and it's great the, for the, the kids. The skill of these and of they, these lumberjacks and the stuff they do. You'll see, chopping down things. And there's some audience and, participation yeah. if you want to. So there's, there's, there's an, an amateur family. time from like one to like eleven to one or something you? like that. I think it's eleven to one is the amateur time and. Um, People, fathers and sons can sign up, things like that, and throw axes. Which daughters scares me a little bit, but I guess again, <laughs> you know, amateurs throwing axes, but I'm sure they've got it figured they've out. They've got it covered. That's what they're doing. But they, um, I know, and then, scary. Um, they actually have people who it's a competition. Are, yeah, competition are true then. pros at this, and they go on shimming up, uh, you know, yeah. oh, and from, from, cutting, oh. from like one to four. It's a long time, so bring, if you go, bring a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah. really bring your beach chair, because we didn't realize that last year, and we were standing. And it's a long time standing to watch the whole show. But it was yeah. fun. It's but really it's a great doing. show. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, the um, and back to tomorrow. There's a lot of things going in on on our two a couple of the surrounding communities. Tomorrow is actually Holliston Day too, yes. and so there is a big festival there. A lot of kind of crafts and food. No, it, it actually the they have live. They have the parade is early, Holston but then they Pride they Day. do. Um, a lot of live entertainment. They have a huge stage set up. Really? Music plays, um, step dancers, things like that. Then we go over to the east, and it's also Ashland Day. And Ashland Day is all tomorrow. All tomorrow. It's always all the same day. Okay. So Ashland Day is very much hands-on kids' activities. Mm -hmm. So anything from inflatables. Um, the high school actually embraces Ashland Day. So all the clubs in the high school most oh, well. <laughs> actually run whether it's throwing a pie at someone's face or dunking things. <coughs> the fire department has like a smokehouse usually and things like that going on. But um, it's dedicated in honor of a, a girl that had been in a bad accident in, in the early 80s and she's still with us. But mm -hmm. um, so the yeah. kids had started it. The kids still continue with it, even though it's a town thing. Um, I have a fun thing tomorrow night. I actually, I grew up in Ashland <laughs> that most of you guys know, but um, it's my 35th high school reunion tomorrow night. Woo -hoo! So we're, you know, we've done the high end where you go to like a fancy restaurant and, you know, pay a lot of money and have overnights in hotels to, you know, down and dirty barbecues in someone's yard to mm -hmm. tomorrow. We just decided that we're, um, it's at Pinecrest Golf Club. Um, we're, it's cash bar and we're doing heavy apps mm -hmm. and there'll be some live music and stuff like that. So well, I want to flip back to tomorrow you guys will have a booth at Poly Arts. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can buy, you can learn more about the Lions. You can volunteer and get involved in the club. You can buy the grocery dash tickets. Connie's really into that. I, come on, it's yeah, such yeah, a good yeah, cause. Yeah. Do, yeah. It, do it, do okay, it, do yes. it. 20 bucks for one, yes. three for 40 bucks goes for a great cause. You have well, her on your fundraising team. I mean, I really. Know. <laughs> I, I, I actually tried to recruit her. her as a, I did. A salesperson. We will have the website up on, yeah. the, um, yeah. on the TV, yeah. and it's, it's hoppingtonlions.org, yeah. but um, you'll see it printed up but, here at but some point. But swing by the booth, say hello to them. Um, I, it'll be fun mm -hmm. tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be great. That um, quilt, yeah. yeah, that quilting thing seems kind of cool, oh, too. And, We've and got ACA, some brilliant um, quilters. That's just down the road, and you know it, it's going to be a. It's all walkable and stuff hall. like that. Where's and now the, excuse me, where's the quilting? Um, HCA. HCA. Okay. So, and you know it's an all walkable thing. You know, and that's you know, Hopkinton the Cultural people Arts that own those Swoon that also built the, that new little business center that yeah. has, is opening up. And what people don't realize is that actually behind Swoon now that just opened too. Oh, it's beautiful. Raises. It's no. Oh. Well, I'm going to get to raise the stage, but that this will be bad. Is there's actually a brand new municipal parking lot that the family that owns that built. And it's, oh. it parks over two dozen cars. So don't worry about parking at Poly Arts, Mar yeah. other things that go on. I'm not gonna say marathon, I was, but uh -huh. I shouldn't because that's not how you're supposed to get there. But um, <laughs> you know, there are now, the family who owns this decide, I'm gonna give up part of the property that we could yeah, build thing. on. And they built a small municipal lot. They, they awesome. welcome other businesses for and things free. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I give them a lot of credit. I mean, today at five, and it will be already after this is aired, is Razor's Edge has moved over to there from being it's a hair salon, in case you don't and, know. And um, I'm going there this <laughs> afternoon. We're gonna do a. I was there recently. <laughs> I was there recently too. But we're gonna do um, a re. They moved there, and we're gonna do like a new ribbon cutting um, there. But more is it, it's celebrating 
a woman-owned business that has been in business for 30 years. This is wow. her 30th year in business. And I think that's a kind of a big deal. That's that cool. is a big and deal. And we've had a lot of new businesses come to town from like Cycle City to Verizon to um, uh, Simply Orthodontic just opened up this past that's week. Yeah. And, awesome. you know, upcoming uh, things um, with the chamber coming up is um, there'll be another open house for Let's Sing, Let's Dance on September 30th. Mm -hmm. But... Um, if you're a business owner, and I'm going to talk about this on every show coming up, um, October 18th at HCA, the chamber will be first ever uh, Hoppington, uh, a business and creative arts expo. Oh, mm -hmm. so you can get it. You can buy a table if you're a chamber member at one price. If you're not another, feature your business. Um, there'll be wine, heavy appetizers, things like that going on. At the same time, the HCA will be promoting their. Um, performances, their classes. They've now taken on some of the Danforth Museum classes. Oh. So the ceramics part of that nice. is all coming in through them. Mm -hmm. And um, they'll also be doing some side performances while we go on. So um, that's kind of us. Yep. We have Farmer's Market well, Let me just also Sunday. mention this. On Monday night is the um, public forum for the Charter Review Committee. That's right. And everyone right who's here. interested in that should come here. Um, you'll look for information Monday night the 19th. Yeah. The, um, the meeting will start at 6 o'clock. Okay. That is the Charter Reviews meeting that they're going to do. And then the public forum right. for feedback questions mm -hmm. is at 7. So come at 6, hear what mm -hmm. they're saying so that you can actually formulate right. what you want to ask at and 7 o'clock. So for people who don't know, this charter review, um, our town is governed by a charter that gets reviewed every 10 years. This is the first review. The town just established this charter 10 years ago. This is the opportunity to see what the underpinnings of the governance of this town This is entail. basically the constitution of our town. Yeah. Exactly. This so is come out and check it out because it's important. And it's huge, yeah. Yeah. So lots of thanks, Darlene, and thank you, Christine, Christine for thanks being for joining here. Us. <laughs> We're excited. Thank and you. Thank see you, you tomorrow. All for yes. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Right. Good night or goodbye. <laughs>